Good morning, everybody. My name is Eve Costarelli, and I'm here for Groove and Flow Yoga on the Native Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. Welcome. Today, we are going to be doing exercises that will help our spines be more flexible. The spine is the main supporting axis for your body, and it helps you to stand up, and it also helps you to be able to move. So it's very important for us to really work on our ability to bend forward, to lean back, to bend sideways and the other side, and also to twist. And that's what these exercises are all geared to help you with. So what I'd like you to start with is to sit up nice and tall. We're gonna start sitting in crisscross because the first exercises we're going to do are going to be in crisscross. You wanna sit up nice and tall so your spine is straight but not stiff. You're gonna close your eyes and just take a few grounding breaths inside your body to help yourself be calm and focused and ready for yoga. So we'll do our take five breath by breathing in for the count of five and breathing out for the count of five. Breathe in Breathe out. One more breath in. And the final calming breath out. We're going to start with a series of rotations around and around, kind of like you're a coffee grinder. And we're gonna be doing most of these exercises for anywhere between one and two minutes. So we just wanna get into the flow of the easy motion of the exercises. You're gonna breathe in when you go to the front and you're gonna breathe out on your way to the back. So breathe in, breathe out. You can go as slow or as fast as you want, but always remember to be doing your breathing at the same time as your motion so you're not just being wild and just flying around in circles. Really pay attention to your breathing. So we breathe into the front and breathe out to the back. Great, and we're ready to stop and we're ready to start in the other direction. So just start going in the other direction, no fanfare. This exercise opens your energy in your lower spine, it massages your internal organs, and it aids in digestion, because we're crushing up anything inside our stomach, and we're focusing our mind, we're breathing in on the front, and we're breathing out on the way back. Really smooth, make it smooth. Feel what your spine feels like while you're doing this. That's that big, long backbone there. What is that doing now? Just a few more times. We will come to the center. We'll take a breath in and a long breath out. Now we're going to do a spinal flex. So what that means, and I like to sit to the side to show you first what it means, is it's not your whole body move me, moving, it's just your spine. So I hold the front of my legs, I breathe in, it's like I pull my chest through my arms, and then I breathe out and I let my back sag back. But my shoulders really aren't going anywhere, it's just my spine is trying to pull back and forth through the gateway of my shoulders. I love that word. For some reason, that really created a great visual for me. It's like I'm trying to pull through. I'm emerging and rolling back. Breathe in front, breathe out back. You 
you can think the word I when you go to the front, and you can think the word am when you go back. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am strong, sweet. I am strong, sweet. Just say that in your mind while you're breathing forward. I am strong, sweet. I am. Close your eyes so you can look out through your middle of your forehead. Imagine you have an eyeball right there and you're just looking out that eyeball and you're saying in your mind, I am strong, sweet. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep going. We have a little bit more to do in this exercise. It's really important for our spines. This really helps to stretch out your lower spine. It stimulates your whole body. A few more times. Keep going. Don't give up yet. We're almost at the end of our time. What we're going to do is we're going to breathe in. Pull yourself forward. Lift up your pelvic floor like you're trying to just pull your whole body up off the ground for just a moment. Release your breath. Release your hold. And just sit very quietly. Take three, take five breaths and notice the energy as it circulates through your body. Okay, we are going to move to our sitting on our heels. And I'm just gonna turn around to the back quickly so you can see that. My big toes touch, my heels are spread open, and I sit down between my heels. Don't crisscross your feet. Okay, and our knees are together. And we're gonna do the same thing we just did, the flexing, but we're gonna be doing it now on our knees, which is gonna help the middle part of our back a little bit differently than the other one. So we still breathe in front and breathe out back. You can close your eyes. You can bring in the little thing we were just saying, I forward, am back, strong forward, sweet back. I am strong, sweet. going just a few more times. Breathe in, pull yourself forward. Lift up your pelvic floor. You're trying to squeeze the muscles inside your body down at the bottom. And release. Just sit quietly for a moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. I'm just gonna do some simple neck rolls. So we're just gonna start very gently, making a big circle in one direction. Remember not to drop your head in the back. Don't let your neck go. Be strong in your body. It can be a very slow exercise. It does not have to be fast. You can really stretch out your jaw muscles when you're going up and over to the back. And then gently stretching out the back of my neck muscles here. And 
one more in this direction, whatever direction you're going in. Make sure it's nice and slow, taking your time. And now we're gonna go in the other direction. So around we go, once again, nice and slow. Gentle, gentle stretching. Do not strain your neck. You can breathe in when you bring your head towards the back. And then as your chin comes towards your chest, you breathe out. This really stimulates your heart center and your thyroid. And your thyroid is a very important it produces um, hormones that affect growth, development, and the rate at which your body uses your energy. So it's a very important instrument in our health. So by doing these gentle neck rolls, we're stimulating and helping our thyroid work at a good capacity for ourselves. Coming around to the front, take a breath in, and a breath out. Okay, we're moving on to washing machine is what I call this. So I stick my thumbs at the back of my shoulders and I let my fingers be at the front. I make sure my chest is nice and wide and open. I'm not sagging forward. I'm holding up and my arms are parallel to the floor. I'm gonna breathe in when I turn left and breathe out when I turn right. And you'll see that my head is going with my arms. It's not trying to go farther than my arms. It's just looking side to side. So it's getting a gentle stretch in the neck yet again. So we breathe in to the left and out to the right. In to the left and out to the right. And as you feel like you might like to go a little faster, please just remember to keep your breath going. Your eyes can be closed. You can have your mantra of I am strong, sweet. As you go to the sides, keep switching. Don't get crazy though. Make sure your breath is going. Make sure your mind is focused. stop try to pick up again if you're feeling dizzy I do find it's better to keep my eyes closed in this exercise rather than letting my head flop side to side and keep switching my eyeball direction because that can make me feel a little nauseous all right before we let this go we're gonna breathe in we're gonna hold our arms up we're gonna take a deep breath in lift up our pelvic floor hold our energy up 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 into our body opening my heart opening my upper back Take a breath in, last one, and release your arms down. Take a breath in, and a breath out. All right, moving on to the next exercise. I am gonna sit in crisscross again. Okay, so these are side bends, and these are very important because they're gonna stimulate your liver, they're gonna assist your digestion, the ridding of the food that you've eaten and the things that you've ingested. And also it increases the overall spinal flexibility, your ability to bend and move and not get hurt when you bend down to pick something up or reach too high. Okay, so what we're gonna do, is gonna interlace our fingers and we're gonna put them at the back of our head, kind of holding onto that ridge in the back so your, arm, your hands don't slip up over your head and they're not causing your neck to jerk around. Now when you do this exercise, you want to bend only sideways. You don't want to curl your spine forward and you don't want to curl your spine back. So you really might not be able to go very far. It might be a very small exercise. So we breathe into the center and very gently tip to the sides on our right. I'm just going to see how far I can go to get a gentle stretch. Breathe into the center and we're gonna tip gently towards the left. 
Remember, we're not going to bend our spine forward or back, so we're just going right down to the side. We're holding our belly strong. Breathe into the center. Breathe out to the side. You can just know, if you see me, I'm the teacher. I'm not really bending very far because I can't get down to the ground or I'd have to bend my spine. I wouldn't just be able to tip side to side. I don't want to hurt myself. I want to be gentle, taking care of the flexibility of my spine so my back is healthy and my whole body is healthy. One more on both sides, nice and slow and gentle. Coming to the center, taking your last breath in, releasing your hands down to your lap and letting that breath go. Just sitting quietly for a breath in and a breath out. You can use that mantra, I am. You can also use the mantra, strong sweep, all the way through all of these exercises to help keep yourselves more focused on what you're doing and not thinking about other things um, that might be distracting you. We're gonna do some shoulder shrugs. This helps to loosen up the tension in our shoulders and relaxes our upper back. So we're just gonna rest our arms on our knees we're gonna breathe in, bring your shoulders up by your ears, breathe out, drop them. I don't do this very fast, because once again, I wanna take care of my body. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Breathe in, up, breathe out, down. Two more. One more. And release and relax. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Okay. The next exercise is cobra. Um, we're gonna probably do sphinx pose in this essence. So we're gonna lie on our tummies and we're gonna rest up on our elbows and our lower arms and make sure that our elbows feel like they're supporting us. They're not too far out because then I'm flopping out and they're not too far back because once again, I can't sit up nice and straight. So I wanna be able to do it in a way that I can sit up straight in a sense, right? My knees are down on the ground, my belly's on the ground. The only thing that's lifted is my ribs, my chest, my neck, and my head, okay? We're gonna do one minute of a very powerful breath called breath of fire. We've done that before. It's a short breath in, and then you pump your tummy to get your breath to come out. Breathe in, a little teeny one, pump out. And I'm using my tummy to press that breath out. Okay, so we're gonna do one minute of very fast breath of fire. And then for the second minute, we're gonna still stay in this pose. We're gonna do a minute of long, deep breathing. Okay, so here we go. Here's our minute of breath of fire, ready? Close your eyes. Let your breath do this exercise. Keep going.
keep going. Last few seconds. Okay, switch to long, deep breathing. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Breathe in deep. Breathe out long. Breathing in, pulling the energy up the spine, pulling in the pelvic floor a little bit, and then breathe out very slowly. Again, we're gonna breathe in deep. Pull up from your navel, pull your pelvic floor, pull everything up to the top of your head, and then very slowly breathe out and slowly lower yourselves all the way down. I cross my arms on top of each other and I put my head down and I'm going to rest. I'm just gonna let myself relax here. Unclench any of your muscles. And just balance your energy by relaxing the tensions in any of the part of your body, like your back. Breathing in, feel the energy around your stomach in your navel center, because we did a lot of breathing exercises right there that were really meant to focus our energy, to relax our stomachs as well as our back. Keep your head down, even though I'm picking my head up. It's because I'm trying to talk to you and I don't want to talk into my closed arms. So just relaxing. I'm going to bring my head up like this so I can talk and relax at the same time. Bringing in that mantra, I on the inhale, am on the exhale, strong on the inhale. Sweet on the exhale. Slow your breathing down. And now slowly pressing yourselves up. We're actually going to roll onto our back. Sorry, don't press yourself up. We're going to rock and roll. We're going to do about 10 of them. So you're going to bring your knees into your chest, and then you're going to use your momentum to rock and roll yourself back and forth. Just keep going. Maybe we'll do more than 10. I don't know. This is I'm at four right now. You only might be at one or two. I'll just keep going, and I'll tell you when we're going to stop. This really circulates the energy up and down your spine and really helps the flexibility of your whole spine. As you can roll all the way up towards your shoulders and all the way over to your bottom. Shoulders to bottom. Let's do just a few more. One, two, and next one will be my last one. Awesome. Now I'm gonna sit with my legs out wide. And we're gonna do this movement, once again, from the hips. We're not gonna bend our spine forward and we're not gonna bend our spine backwards. What I'd like you to do is find a comfortable spot that you can hold, on your, hold your legs so that your hands don't move up and down while we do this exercise. So you wanna Reach forward until you feel a comfortable stretch. Some of you might be able to hold your toes. I know you can't see me holding my toes because my, maybe I moved back a little bit here, sorry. Holding your toes. Your legs might be wide or open. They might be less wide open. You have to do it for yourself. You want to be able to sit up. And you're going to breathe in here. And then you're going to breathe out and you're going to bend towards your belly, towards the side. 
Okay, I'm just going side and side. I am kind of even helping by putting my elbow down a little bit because that lets me know where a safe bend spot is for me. Breathe into the center and breathe out. You're not just rounding your spine towards the, trying to actually kind of bring your belly towards your leg. So I'm not arching my body down. I'm just moving as much as I can move to keep my back comfortably straight. Let's do a few more, keep going. One more on both sides. Breathe into the center, bring your legs together, bounce your legs up and down. Awesome, okay, now we're gonna sit in um, where one leg is straight, so I'm gonna have my left leg straight and my right leg is bent by the side of the leg. It's kind of near my knee area. It, for you, if it's not that comfortable, you could try to stretch it a little bit forward to see if that helps or pull it a little bit more, but don't hurt your knees and don't sit so your leg is up in the air. You want to have a nice, gentle, I call it seated tree because it looks like I'm doing tree pose. Now once again, we're gonna hold on to the front of our leg where we feel a comfortable stretch, where our back is straight and our belly is coming towards our leg and we're gonna look at our toes and we're going to do breath of fire. So here we go, here's that breath again, in and out. Take a breath in, hold your breath, pull up your pelvic floor, squeeze everything up, up, up from the inside like there's a little elevator going up your spine, 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 and release. Take a breath in, bring your two legs together for a moment, breathe out, stretch the right leg forward, set up your left leg to be in a comfortable spot, stretch down over your leg, Get a comfortable stretch going, looking right at your toes, and once again, breath of fire, in, out, in, out, in, out. I'm pumping my tummy to get my breath. Keep going. Take a deep breath in. Ride that elevator energy all the way up your spine. Pull up like there's a little internal zipper. Lift everything up and release, stretch your legs out in front, bounce them up and down, 
And we're gonna come over to hands and knees for cat and cow pose. This will be our last exercise. Oh, maybe no, we have, well, yes, here we go, sorry. Cat and cow, hands and knees. Breathe in, lift your chin up. Breathe out, round your spine, way up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel the energy going all the way up your spine, over the top of the head when you're breathing in. And then washing through you as you lift up high. Just a few more times here. Okay, on the next thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in and rest in a saggy cow. Like your belly is resting down, but your shoulders are still lifted and your tail and head are still lifted. It's just your belly that's hanging down. Now breathe in, bring your energy all the way up your spine, pull in your root lock, like you're trying to close the energy off near your bottom. Pull it all the way up your spine. Hold your breath for a moment and then release and sit back on your feet. Put your hands in your lap and just rest. We're going to meditate by sitting quietly and meditating and being with present with the sensations in your body. Just breathe and notice. Notice the sensations in your hips and legs. Notice the sensations in your belly and your spine. Notice the sensations in your shoulders and your arms. Notice the sensations in your throat your cheeks, your eyes, your head, your ears. Increase awareness to every part of your body and spine. Feel every sensation in your body at the same time. Breathing I on the inhale, am on the exhale, strong on the inhale, and sweet on the exhale. All right, take a deep breath in and a big exhale. Again, in, exhale, in, exhale. Release your hands, bring them above your head. Shake them, shake them like you have water on your fingers and you're just wishing everybody happiness and healthiness and goodness. Spread it all like you're splashing water all over you all over the world. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Eve Costarelli. This is the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being with me today. Please bring those happy, healthy, loving feelings with you in your own body all day so you can share them with everybody. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. See you again soon.